everybody. I am so happy I figured out what was wrong with my uh, computer. Long story short, I'm learning things I never thought I'd learn. I didn't have enough upfront RAM. It was getting too slow, and that's why my software wasn't working right. So I think we're all set. Let me make sure that YouTube's going. Excellent condition. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I am so happy. Okay, so we, I can finally be live with you guys. Let me get everything set up here so I can see comments on YouTube. I've got you up for uh, being able to see your comments here on Facebook. And I think we're ready to go. I've got a lot of neat, exciting things to share with you today. I hope you're all doing well. I know this uh, coronavirus is not is a little bit scary. Our church has to go online now, so we're not going to have church service for a little while. Uh, my daughter's third grade teacher here in Mooresville, and they're shutting down starting uh, Monday. So don't remember this ever happening in my lifetime, but I know we'll all get through it, and I'm praying for all of you. Hi, Diana. I'm glad you're here. I'm so happy everything's working, but do let me know if something starts messing up because I need, I need to know because I, I might have to do something else with my computer. But it's a $30 fix, so I'm super happy. Okay, let's go ahead and switch cameras quick. I've got a few things I'm going to talk about, um, like the new paper pumpkin that's coming out, some other things, some things that are sold out. Um, but I also want to um, share with you some new product that you're going to be able to get in April. And I don't know if you remember, if you've been with Stamp for a little while, the last few years, they have brought out a suite of products that are going to be in the annual catalog. They bring it out so we can get it early. So pretty neat. And you're going to love it. I would, As a demonstrator, I'm able to uh, pre-order it. So I always get things a month early. It's one of the, my, probably my fa one of my favorite perks of being a demo. So plus the discount, that's pretty good too. So now I'm going to go ahead and you know what we're going to do? Before I do that, I always forget. Let me show you pictures of the cards quick. Because I just saw that Diana shared. Thank you, Diana. Every week, the cards that I make, I, you get put in a drawing if you share my video and comment shared below. That's on YouTube and on Facebook. And I do need to make sure, there's one thing I haven't said, since I'm a U.S. demonstrator, please only uh, mark, comment shared if you live in the United States. It costs me a lot more to be able to mail these globally. So if this, I'm going to have to limit this to the United States. Maybe sometime I'll be able to do it globally, but make sure that you are United, you do live in the United States. So that way I can get it mailed to you. Okay, I'm going to switch this camera so you can see the cards again in case you missed last week. But these are the Thoughtful Blooms cards that I made. These are a celebration set that you get free with a $100 order. I'm sorry, the stamps that you get free with a $50 order. The punch that punches out the uh, uh, flowers is a $100 order. Did you get it for free? Okay, so let me draw names. I want to thank you everybody that shared. And do make sure when you do share the video, if you make sure you do comment shared. I showed that I have uh, one more share than uh, people that told me they shared. And, there's no, and I looked and there's no way I could find out who it was. So let's hurry up and see. Anne, and Anne, I could not pronounce your middle name, or the middle name with yours. It says Anne Printup. So congratulations. Make sure you tech, uh, message me here on in my Facebook page, your address, and I'll get these cards mailed out to you right away. So congratulations, Ann. She's won, that's the first time she's won. I think that's the first time she saw my live too, so that was nice having her. I'm so glad to be live, like I said. Um, it's just been one thing. I want to thank you, though, uh, those of you that have been patient with me with all my technical difficulties this last three Fridays. Just thrilled it's all working again because these are a lot of fun to do. Okay, now I'm going to show you the new paper pumpkin kit. If you like the paper pumpkin kits when they're full-size cards, you're going to love this one. Like always, they don't show us exactly what it is, but I'm glad they give us little hints now. It's, there are eight cards in this set. It's my wonderful family. It's supposed to be cards that you can tell, send cards to people in your family and friends that you love the most. You should love your whole family, but you have to pick your your eight. <laughs> Except you can make cards, once the kit's gone, you can still make cards with the stamp set. And if there are any kits left over, being a subscriber to Paper Pumpkin, you can buy some past kits, refills, so you can keep making some more cards. But they are the full four and a quarter by five and a half inch size. And I love the color scheme. One of these times I'll bring out those these colors so you can see them look together. But it's Crushed Curry, Early Espresso, Melon Mambo, Mint Macaron, Pear Bizazz, Shaded Spruce, and Soft Sea Foam. So those should be really pretty. And I want to tell you real quick, I think this hasn't changed yet. That's right. Last week, the, the honey uh, paper had been sold out. So these are the three celebration items that have sold out before the end of March. 
the Baker's Twine and the Sequins, the Kerchief Card Kit, and the Golden Honey Specialty Designer Series paper. But just yesterday, I was going to order it for a customer, and it was sold out. I was so bummed. Let me get this to go. The, the Coordination Product Release, I don't know if you remember that. There's some dies and a uh, Designer Series paper pack in the product release, and they were while supplies last until March 31st. Well, the birthday dies were sold out early. Last year when they did similar something similar to this, the dies sold out even quicker than they had this year. So I think they made sure they had a lot on hand. But I really like these dies, but I'm sorry to say those are sold out. Now make sure you stick around until the end of the video because I'm going to be showing you the new product that's gonna, that you'll be able to uh, purchase in April. And you're really going to like it. The dies are, oh, they're beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and start making our card. If you looked at the title, you saw that I'm featuring the Rise and Shine stamp set. This is a celebration set that came out during uh, the second release. So this one just started here this month. Really cute set. So if you have any coffee lovers, tea lovers, hot chocolate lovers, you definitely want to get this set. And you can get it free with a $100 order. And um, like I said, this is U.S. prices that I quote. It's a photopolymer set, and it's a reversible set. And I'll be showing you some uh, the tricks with the reversible here in the cards I'm making. But it's a super cute set. I really like it a lot. Now, the neat thing about this, if you got the Cups of Cheer die set, let's do it this way, it might look a little better, um, that was in the Holiday Mini last fall, then you already have the dies you need for that stamp set. If you don't, these may not be in a catalog right now, but you can order them. If you go to my online store, you can find them. So I love having dies that coordinate. And whenever I do these cards, I always try to have another die. If I need another die set, I try to use it in all three cards. Well, I'm using the Stitch Shapes dies that we've had around for a while now. I love these because you get circles, ovals, and squares all in one kit. And I'm going to be using every single shape with, this, with these cards. Okay, let's get started. My first card is going to have a card base of daffodil, I'm mean, sorry, crushed curry. It's eight and a half by five and a half. I forgot to grab my bone folder. Let me grab that real quick. Then we're gonna fold this in half and set it aside. I always like to get my folder done first. Now I'm gonna bring in a couple pieces of designer series paper. I'm bringing in some paper from the annual catalog. This is follow your art designer series paper. And I didn't wanna have just a plain end over here so instead of using my banner, I decide to do something different. I'm just going to cut these at an angle, like so. And I'll do that over here. There we go. Put those to the side. And so I'm going to get all that done. Now we're going to do some stamping. Oh, I forgot to get my... I'm glad I have things real close by so I can grab them real quick. I did forget to get some scrap paper. There we go. Yay! It's nice to have everything right where I can reach it. Okay. And I forgot to put these on blocks. My goodness, I thought I was doing really good. I had a class last night, so all my blocks are out in my classroom because I haven't a chance to fix it. So I'm going to have to use some blocks that are a little bigger than what I need. Sorry about that. I'm going to put this one on this side. I think this is, oh, that's not the one I want yet. Hold on a minute. I was so proud of myself. Everything was working, and I didn't get everything out on my stamps ready. But I do know that I need this one. And the neat thing with the reversible on this one, you can kind of see that there's a design. You might be able to see it better here on the white paper. There's a nice design on that. But I don't want the design on this card. So I'm going to turn it over. And I did pick up the right one. I'm looking at the wrong card. But I will be showing you. This one will make it so I can have one with a handle on the other side. Plus, it'll be a nice smooth cup. But I did want the one with the holes. I was thinking I was making my other card. I got messed up here. Okay, yeah, I want it this way. Because I want my handle to be on the left side, so that's why I want to make sure I got that right. So I'll grab my piece of Whisper White. This one is a uh, five and a quarter by three and a half piece. Grab my Crushed Curry ink pad. And I'm going to stamp it right over here in the corner because I'm going to be putting some other things on here, so I want to make sure I have enough room for everything. Now I'm going to need a, my tag, and this is the neat thing about this tag in here, too. Let me throw things around since I didn't get these on. 
this one is also reversible so you can have your cart if you want it to put it on the left side of your cup and have your heart upright you do it this way or you do it this way for the other way so since this is a big block i'll just do this i'll make sure i'm because you kind of have to think backwards there we go i do want the tag here so that's the way i want my heart so i want to grab the coastal cabana hi janice glad you're here just saw janice last night okay so get that inked up and put that right here okay that's good i love that coastal cabana color it is so pretty and now this other stamp which is pretty cool this opening here i love this opening i'm going to grab this little starburst type stamp here we grab another block i think it'll fit on this one yes it will if you're coming in late i left all my blocks in my classroom so I'm having to improvise with what I got, got here close by. So I'm going to stand up here so I can see better. So this is the Calypso Coral color. Oops. Let me get this fixed. I'm sure you hear my voice. For some reason, I lost connection just on my phone. That's an easier fix than what I've had in the past. Let me make sure YouTube's still going strong. Yeah, it looks like it is. Oh, hi, Claudia. I didn't, my uh, YouTube comments disappeared on me there for a second. I got them back up. So it will go black here, but I will be, I'm right back. So hopefully you're seeing this now because it looks like it's all working again. So sometimes when somebody, I have my phone on do not disturb, but sometimes when somebody tries to call me or something like that, it messes up my camera and the phone. So I bet that's what happened. Even putting it on, not do not disturb sometimes messes it up so i think we're all good again yeah but it looks like i'm back on youtube good okay so we'll keep going let me double check yeah it looks like i'm back on with no problem good there for a minute it said it wasn't getting anything but i think it's just because of the picture being messed up so hopefully i need to tell people not to try to contact me during three o'clock in the friday afternoon <laughs> Okay, so we've got that. Now I want to do my Rise and Shine stamp. I'll put that here on the other end. I'm going to do it on the opposite side because I don't want to get ink from this where I'm stamping. And I'm going to grab my Calypso Coral. I'm sorry, Coastal Cabana again. Not Calypso Coral. I just got done with Calypso Coral. Okay, get the Rise and Shine. And I'm going to stamp that right in the middle. Like so. I think this set is adorable. Now I need to grab, let's go ahead. You can do this either way. I was going to uh, die cut my square first. Make sure I'm getting the right, yeah, right stamp here. Okay. Oh, here's one I can use. This one says, make today amazing. I'm going to use my Tuxedo Black Memento that inked up and I'm going to put that about right here I think that's all the stamping I need to do so let me grab my die cutting machine get this out of the way first off we're going to go ahead and emboss a piece and it's one of our new embossing folders it's called coastal weave I love this it is so cool and this is one of our new 3D folders, so I need the embossing plate that we have available now. I'm going to grab a piece of Coastal Cabana. This is a four by five and a quarter inch piece. And like you've, if you've watched my videos before, there's this nice line that Stampin' Up! has put at the bottom of our folders now, and that makes it so you can make sure it's straight. And I did not get that straight. There we go. Put that in, always fold first. You're probably getting tired of hearing me say that, but I always want to make sure God, I felt that one of my stamps got stuck on it. Let me put that back in my, oh, it was down here. Okay, get those out of the way. So that's ready to go. And you'll be able to see the neat embossing here better. Isn't that cool? I really love that. So put that to the side. Now we're gonna do some die cutting. So I need to grab another platform. And bring in my Stamping. 
let's see if we can fit everything on here at once. We may not be able to. Sometimes it starts skipping everywhere. But I need, and the neat thing with this die, I don't know if you saw, it's got a die for each way that for the handles to go. Oh, didn't get in the camera. So this is the one I'm needing. So I'm just going to put that right there over my image. Just make sure you don't see any white within that these openings. Then you know you've got it right. And then grab my tag punch. See, that was the one I was worried about. And I think it's going to be okay. Cool. Then I'm going to grab... I think it was the second smallest. Let me look real quick. Yeah, oh, second largest. I was about ready to pick up the wrong square. And this one, I want to make the Today Amazing near the top. So there we go. And now I'll go ahead and run this through. Now you see why I put it all on one piece of paper. It's nice to be able, and made it extra big because you don't want to stamp things too close together because then you won't be able to uh, run them through all at the same time. So now we've got that ready to go. And I love that it cuts out the little handle in the middle and my tag. Oh, I did forget one other thing. Let me grab this. We could have done this and I forgot, I forgot about it. There is this cute little bow. Let me grab my die cutting machine again. In this die set. And I'm just taking it out of a scrap piece of Blushing Bride. And whenever I pick colors, if I'm using designer series paper, I pick the colors that are in the paper. So that's where I got this color combo at. There we go. Isn't that a cute little bow? I really like that. Makes it so, and that works perfect for this cup. I'll probably end up, whenever I do these, do cards with this, use that little bow all the time rather than use ribbon. A little easier than tying a bow, just die cut one. Okay, now I've got all the pieces together. So I'll bring the card base back in. And, oh, I did forget I decorated the inside. So let me grab, I don't know if I, I think I said this in my live last week. It might have been another video I did. I've been doing a lot of videos here lately. Um, I'm going to start uh, decorating the inside of my cards all the time, I think. Sometimes I don't, but I'm really, I'm enjoying decorating the inside too. So I decided not to put a mug in this time. I'm just going to do my little starburst here. And then I'll grab my Rise and Shine, use my Coastal Cabana, and just have that in the corner. There we go. So now we've got the side done. Get these close so I don't get anything on top of an ink pad and ruin the card. <laughs> I have done that before. I'm sure some of you saw that video. It was like, ah! Right at the end of the video, I drop it right on the ink pad. Okay. Put this on the inside. Like so. So now we've got the inside done. And whenever there's embossing, I grab my multi-purpose glue because it does a lot better with gluing, keeping it on the card, I mean. Snail works, but like I said before, with glue, it gets inside the grooves and stuff and the embossing. So it really holds it on a lot better. So we'll stick that in the middle. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my designer series paper. This is designer series paper I hadn't used yet. So I was excited when I, I was like, okay, because I'm trying to pull some stuff out of the annual catalog too. So we don't want to forget about that catalog. It's a good one. So I was glad when I found this designer paper. I thought, oh yeah, I haven't used that yet. And I love the colors. So I thought it would look good with this stamp, with a stamp set. And then put this one, I might have them all line up with the left side of the Coastal Cabana piece. So we've got that ready to go. Now I'm going to bring in my square. And I, since I am, well, this, this, this will be fine. I was going to use the glue, but I really don't need to. I have noticed it's mainly when you glue the embossed part where it doesn't like the stone ones, especially when it's a big piece. So I'm going to have it overlap the top of that designer paper just a little bit, but make sure it's centered left and right. So that's ready to go. And now we're going to put our little cup together here. First off, I want to take just a little dab of glue. The center on here, you could use a glue dot, but the glue dots are just a little big. But if you still want to use a glue dot, go right ahead. You just squeeze it a little bit to make it smaller. But I am just going to put a little glue right there on the center. And then I'm going to put it on the end of my tag like so. 
and hold it down for a few seconds. But it does not look really cute on that tag. So I didn't have to tie a little bow, I had my little die cut. So now I'm gonna have it hanging off the side of my cup like this. So I only need a little bit of glue right here. I don't know why I closed that. Let's put a little bit right here. Because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this cup on with dimensionals. So I'll hold that down like so. And I thought that needed a little bling. So I'm gonna grab my rhinestones. And our basic rhinestones have three different sizes. The, a lot of the small ones, some medium sized ones, and these are the larger ones. But I'm gonna be using the small one. So this is such a small bow. Get my take your pick tool. And there we go. So I've got my little bling. Let me get that a little closer so you can see it. Now we're gonna put this on with dimensionals. We're almost done with this card. I'm gonna put one on the um, tag just in case I don't want it falling off my card at all and that'll make sure it stays on. So that should be plenty of dimensionals. Get these off. Okay, there's always gotta be one that doesn't wanna come off. There we go. And then I'll put my little mug right here. And that's the card. So if you share today's video and comment shared, this will be one of the cards that you could win. I'll put your name in a drawing if you share the video and um, draw the names in next week's video. And you've got until Thursday, March, I want to say 18th. Yep. Take that back 19th. You've got till March 19th to share this video and comment shared and you'll get put in the drawing to get the cards I'm making today. So this is one of them. So put that over the side. Now we're ready for the next one. Try to clean up a little bit here so I've got room to work. Once again, my workspace is getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> and I really should clean. Uh-oh. Don't know if I have my chamois. It's always over here. Oh, there it is. That's a say I've always got it here at my desk. Get these cleaned up. Since I have forgot to grab my blocks from my classroom, I don't have as many to work with. So let's get these cleaned up. I don't think I'm using this stamp again. So I'll pop that on here so I don't lose it. I think it was on this piece. Let's see. Yep, it was. Sorry. Sorry about this. If I'd had my blocks, everything would have been a lot easier. I am going to need the Rise and Shine, so I'll leave that on there. This one we're done with. I love my chamois. It cleans the stamps so fast. And is this the one I'm using? I will take this off. I think it goes the other way with what I'm working on. Okay. With these being clear, I do not want to lose them. So now I'm going to bring the mug out that I would gotten out earlier. i would gotten ahead of myself. So this one, I'm going to do the reversible because I wanted to have this mug and then another one going the other direction. So right now I'm going to do the, the design side first. Grab a piece of Whisper White. And it is a three and let's say five by two and a quarter inch piece. And grab my lovely lipstick. I love the color and I love the name. <laughs> okay, so get this all inked up. And I'll put that here on this end. Cute. And now I'm gonna clean that up because I am gonna turn it over and use the other side. I know it doesn't look like it's clean, but it is. That's one thing about red ink. It does dye the uh, stamp, but you can still clean it off. It's not gonna stamp red unless I put red ink on it again. But now I'm gonna turn this over. This is the reversible part. So now the handle's going the other direction. And now I'm gonna leave the lovely lipstick out because we're gonna use that again. Now I'm gonna use my Daffodil Delight. This is a little lighter yellow than what I used on the other card. That was Crushed Curry. Get that inked up. Stamp that one right here. So that gave me two mugs. So I really like this reversible set. It works really well. Okay, now we're going to take, I'll make sure I'm remembering everything I need. Yep, now we can start. Oh, I do have some more stamp to do. Like I said, I keep forgetting I'm going to do the inside of my card. 
So this is a four by five and a quarter inch piece whisper white again. I'm gonna stamp them. I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp another one of these mugs and do it with the yellow. Well, I, so I don't have to clean that up again. Just put this here. And then there's a neat stamp in this that has a little smoke coming up. So we're gonna get that out. I'll go ahead and put that on here and I'm gonna put that on with the tuxedo black. And I'm so glad they made this a photopolymer set because it makes it so easy to line it up. Let me move my finger so you can see. There we go, so now we've got smoke coming out. So that's the inside of the card. And let's go ahead and put that in the card base so I don't lose it. So I'm gonna grab a piece of uh, lovely lipstick. It's eight and a half by five and a half. Let me get this up a little bit. It looks like I'm getting out of screen a little. Take my bone folder. So there's our card base. And then we'll go ahead and put this inside. Hi Jane, I haven't been looking up at my comments. Sorry about that guys, got busy with the card and sometimes it's hard to remember to do that. Oh, Diana, what I used to take the bling off, this is a take your pick tool. And the neat thing about this, okay, when you buy it, it actually does not come with a brush. This is, sep this is something you buy separate, but it comes with two of these little putty things so you can pick up embellishments. And then it's got a double end here a paper piercer and a little spatula and there's also another one that's a scoring tool that you can put in and that comes all together for ten dollars and I forget what the price is for the dye brush but that's separate I like that they've come out with another uh, oh end for us that we can use that's a really good deal okay go ahead and close this up oh I lost my YouTube comments again every time I switch screens and click on something it goes away there we go Okay, so now we've got the card base done. Oh, hi, Jane, I'm glad you like that card. Okay, and thanks for sharing on Happy Scrappers. Hi, Happy Scrappers. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see, what else do we need to do? Now it is time to die cut. That's right. Bring this in. Make sure I don't throw my back out. This thing's heavy. Okay, now we'll grab, let's go ahead and grab the embossing thing because I'm gonna emboss again. And I'm bringing in another embossing folder. This one came out last year. It's layered leaves. So I'm going to need a different embossing plate. Just a regular um, cutting pad is what works with this one. Our new embossing plate is too thick. So I'm going to grab a piece of petal pink. This is a four by five and a quarter. Hold on a minute. I'm dropping some things. There we go. Now, the, like you said, well, I guess this wasn't last year because it doesn't have a line on it. So this one we had for a little while. But this one, it doesn't matter if you don't, if it doesn't go in real straight because the uh, leaves go every which way. So like I said, this is another 3D one. Now, if you purchase this now as a brand new one, then you will need the embossing plate. But since I bought this a few years ago, so isn't that pretty? I've always loved this one. I, you start to forget about uh, things when you get, keep buying new stuff. And then when you find your old stuff, it's like uh, Christmas again. Like, oh, I forgot I had that. Okay, now let's bring in the stamping I just did. First, we've got a piece of um, Whisper White. This is three, let's see, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I'm gonna be using the largest circle in the staped, sh staped boy, <laughs> stitched shape styles. I better be careful, I might say a word I don't wanna say. <laughs> then I've got my mugs. I'm gonna grab both mug dies. Get those handles in the right position. Now this I may not be, yeah, those are too close together. So we'll go ahead and we'll have to do that again here in just a minute. So I'll run this through. Like so. Put this over, there we go. Sometimes that stitching is hard to get the paper to come out just for a second. It cuts really well, but it, I think it's because the stitching is stuck in it. It has trouble. There's my yellow mug. Put that in my old dish so I don't lose it. And then get the right die out. Do my little lovely lipstick one. Okay. 
run that through. All righty. That is all the die cutting on this one. Get this out of the way. Yeah, all my dies put back because I don't want to lose those. I'll need them again. Okay. Now, bring all the pieces back together. I am using a piece of Best Dress Designer Series paper from the uh, mini catalog. This one is a five and a quarter by two. And I'm going to put that on this beautiful petal pink. It looks so beautiful now with all that leaf embossing. Let's see, where, there we go. Since this is kind of a bigger piece, I'm going to use my glue again. As you can see, my workspace is getting smaller and smaller. And that is just going to go here on the bottom. Like so, make sure that it's along the bottom edge. Hold that down. Don't think anybody on this here watching was going to be at Bradford Woods. They had to cancel that on us. Some of you have been to Bradford Woods before. There's a crafting retreat that happens twice a year, and I'm uh, the stamp up demonstrator for it every year. And we just found out yesterday, the lady that's in charge of it let us know, that IU, who runs it, had to close it down because of the coronavirus. So I was a little bummed. I was looking forward to having a fun weekend with my friends, but that's all right. I'm sure there's some of you that have, have had the same thing happen to you. I think there are going to be a lot of things closing for a little while. Okay, now I'm just doing the Rise and Shine again with my Tuxedo Black Memento. Put in the top right corner. And I wanted to stamp. Let me see if I'm good. I was hoping I had a little square. There are little flowers in this stamp set too. So I'm going to use this little bitty one. I'll bring it up here a little bit. This little one here. And I decided I wanted this yellow mug to have some flowers on it. I didn't want it just to be a plain yellow mug. So I'm going to bring in my lovely lipstick and just stamp a couple flowers in different places here. So now we have a nice printed porcelain cup. And try to stay within the white part. So there we go. So now we've got little flowers on our mug. Hi Debbie, I'm glad you're here again. Thanks for sharing too. Okay, so we've got this and this and I think we're ready to start putting stuff together. So get that out of the way again. I have two pieces of ribbon. Thankfully this is, you're able to purchase this again. This ribbon was on back order for a very long time. Janice can attest to this. She's been uh, waiting on her back order to come for quite a while. But this is the Daffodil Roost Ribbon that's in the mini catalog. This is a seven inch piece. Oh, I do want to let you know while I've got you on here, I can't remember the list, but there are a few things that are on back order and I've had to go on not orderable. And it, once again, I know everything's getting blamed on this coronavirus, but um, the things from th that they have to wait on are being delayed because workers not being able to work and get them mailed out. But if, but if it is on back order, when you, if you place an online order and you see it's on back order, I would still suggest getting it. That way you get on the list as quickly as possible so you can get it because you don't want it to end up going non-orderable on you. I just realized I stamped that mug the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, tell you what, in the drawing, you will get my original and it'll have the mug over here. That's funny. Okay, I could go ahead and rip that out and do another one. And that's probably what I'll do. So I'll have it fixed either way. Okay, so here's my uh, circle. And I'm gonna put, first I'm gonna do my yellow mug. That's right, I wanna put that one over here. And since the ha uh, handle's gonna be hanging over, I'm just gonna put snail on the main part. I just know I want it to be close to the rise and shine and then tilted to the right. And you wanna make sure that your rise and shine is uh, level when you go to put it on your card for sure. I wanna see, I couldn't remember if I put dimensionals on this. and get, I think I just put them on the circle. So I'm gonna have this one overlap just a little bit. And go with about the, the opposite direction, like so. Now I'm gonna put on my dimensionals. And I think four will do just nicely. Oops, maybe one here in the center too. That way it doesn't collapse on me. Okay, backing's come off super easy today, yay. 
Okay, now I'm gonna put this over the ribbon, and over here to the right side of the card, make sure that rise and shine is straight, and put it down. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the card base. And when I said to put the rise and shine on straight, I don't think I did. <laughs> it's kind of tilted, but it still looks okay. Well, this card may not look like anything like my original if I keep changing things on it, but that's okay. Put this on the card front. Like I said, I will get that inside changed. So if you win the drawing, you'll have a correct card. Okay, now that I've got that on, I know where I want a little piece of ribbon. This is a five inch piece of the ruched ribbon, same ribbon. I'm gonna in, put that through the bottom of my um, ribbon. And I always have them so they're perpendicular like that. And then I'm just gonna tie it in a single knot. Don't pull too hard. The reason I do single knots is because when you do a double knot, a lot of times your knot ends up getting just shrinks and it's all shriveled up. If you do a single knot, you have a better chance of that not happening. I'm going to cut the ends at an angle. Okay. And I think we're done with the card. Oh, no, we're not. I put some bling on this. When I was looking at those flowers, I thought they need something. They don't have any flower centers, so we I need to do something different. So let's get my take your pick tool back out. And once again, I'm gonna use the small ones. Since this is such a small flower, I thought that those would look better. And I'm just gonna put one in the center. Oops, if I could get a hold of one of each flower. This will take a few seconds here. Oops. So how many of you are excited about it being the weekend? Hope you all have a good weekend. I plan on spending most of my time down here in my office making stuff. Since I can't go to Bradford Woods to the crop, I'm like, okay, my family wasn't going to have me here this weekend anyway, so I'm going to be down here making stuff and having fun. <laughs> it won't be the same without my buddies, but I'm at least going to make some, more, some cards and different projects. So you may be seeing some new videos soon. There we go. Yeah, you can't go wrong, can you, Rhonda? <laughs> Hi, Rhonda. I'm glad you're here. I love that. So that just really set it off. Looks a lot better. That mug looks kind of plain without the bling. So there we go. Put that to the side. I'm going to keep all my cards together. And now I don't know where I put the... Oh, there it is. So I'm going to show them all again at the end for those of you that came in late. And if you did come in late, this... Uh, the recording of this will show up right after the live's over. So you can start at the beginning if you want to see the beginning. So once again, since I forgot my blocks, get all these cleaned up because I'm going to have to use those again. I am going to need this mug, so I'm going to keep it on, but I'm going to use the side with the, um, I'll make sure I clean that. I don't need to be getting yellow. Oh, I didn't. I'm glad I double checked that. So I'm going to turn this around because I want the side with the printing. I am going to use this, and I'm going to put this on the other side just to be on the safe side. And this one, I'm going to have going this way. I want to make sure I'm right. The way you tell is if you turn it upside down, then you know you've got it the right direction, and this is right. So I want to go in the opposite direction, so I just turn it over. That's the wonderful thing about the, uh, tr oh, sorry, the uh, reversibles. I love it. Oh, you're watching it work, Rhonda, huh? <laughs> Your secret's safe with me. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna grab, let's see here, we'll grab a thick whisper white. Now with a thick whisper white, you want to score it before you fold it. And I just happen to have some in my stash that were already scored. As you can see, there's that line. With my other cardstock, you've seen me just fold it in half and use my bone folder. With this being so thick, if you don't do the score line, you end up getting all these little wrinkles and it just looks terrible. And it's about impossible to get it to stay half, so I always score it before I do anything. But I'm going to do a little trick on here that I haven't done and on a card for a while. I'll bring in my cutter here. I want the front of this to be shorter than a regular card. It's easier to still go ahead and fold it in half. Then you open it up, and I'm going to take three quarters of an inch off. So I'll line it up here, cut it, and now it's a little shorter than it was. But you'll see why I did that. You're going to like it. It's not real fancy, but just a different way to make your card. So I'm going to bring in, please just punch designer series paper. This is part of that coordination product 
line and I'm not using um, punches on this one. On the other side, like these little flowers here, those go with that punch that I showed you with the cards last week. But I'm using the other side, but I will be using the flower side on the front. So this is going to go right here. So now it'll show. So it's not just going to be a white edge right there. And it decorates the inside of your card at the same time. So pretty cool. Oops, I'm getting that over here. I almost did what I did in that other video. These are getting closed right now. <laughs> No need to ruin another card. Okay. And something just popped up on my tablet. I bet that's what happened. Somebody messaged me. And I think that's why the camera on my phone turned off for a little bit. That, because that's happened before. So that I can deal with, because I know why it happened. The stuff that was happening the last three weeks, I didn't know what was going on. So glad I figured it out. Okay, so now we've got that right. So that's my card base with that pretty, aren't those colors gorgeous? It's a sunny day here in Indiana, but I love seeing those colors. I'm ready for spraying. I'm sure a lot of you are too. Okay, now put that to the side. Actually, let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna use this other piece. This, is a, this was a one inch by five and a half. This is a one inch by three and a half. Oops, and I'm using the other side. I want to make sure I'm using both sides for this card. This is when double side paper comes in handy. I just took some more off the same 12 inch strip that I made. Then I'm going to put this on the card front. I think I'll put it up just about, I'm kind of looking at mine, about right here. See, so that's put on just right. When I first made this card, it was so white, I'm like, it needs something. So this really made it exactly the way I wanted it. Let's go ahead and take this Rise and Shine off because I don't need it because I need that long block for another stamp I'm going to use. It's Let's Hang Out Soon. Whenever they're long, it, these are pliable and they can curve on you. So just lay it down flat on your work surface. So that way it's laying, it's not getting uh, folded or anything or curving. Then put your block on it. Now it's, I know it's straight like it's supposed to be. The one nice thing about it going curvy, though, if you want it to curve, you can do that. But this time I want my greeting to be uh, straight. So I'm using my Tuxedo Black Memento again. This is going to say, Let, let's hang out soon. And I'm going to put here towards the left, but on the bottom of my card. I love that font. Isn't that cute? Okay, now I'm going to grab... I think that's all okay the card base is done so I'll go ahead and put this over to the side bringing in a piece of uh let's see this one is I can't remember the sides oh there we go two and three quarter by three and three quarter balmy blue and then a piece of whisper white that is three and a half by two and a quarter so this I'm going to be die cutting first so I'll wait on that then this one gets stamped this is going to be the flowered the little mini flowered mug I'm using Granny Apple Green. Love the name of that color. Like the green too. It is a really pretty green. Make sure that's inked up real well. Stamp it. Hold that down for a minute. There we go. So now I've got a pretty green mug. Just for St. Patrick's Day. Just thought of that. That's on Tuesday, isn't it? Boy, this month is going so fast. Every month goes fast anymore though. The older you get. That's what my... I heard for a long, long time, and now it's like, yep, they were right. Okay, oh, I forgot I had on the same block. Okay, now we're going to grab the Daffodil Delight again, get my little heart tag, and I'll stamp it right here. There we go. There's one more thing we need to stamp, but I need to um, die cut first. So let me get these ink pads out of the way. Bring this big guy in. Last time, I have to bring this guy in. Oops, I forgot to take the paper off from last time. Okay, so grab my mug, grab my blue piece, balmy blue. Grab my dies. Grab that there. My tag. Oh, that one's bouncing a little bit. Let me move the paper and see if we can get that. There we go. Whenever it bounces between uh, magnets, just move the whole paper, not just the die, move the paper. That way you get, so you're not in between the magnets anymore and it won't bounce back and forth on you. Then I need to grab the largest oval from the Stitch Shapes die. 
So like I said, I've used all of them. The first card was with a square set, then the circle, and now we're going to do the ovals. I love that dice set so you can have stitched um, shapes all in four of each shape. It's pretty cool. Okay, so that's all the die cutting. So there's my oval, my little yellow tag, and my little mug. And like I said, if uh, this um, die set, the coordinates of this stamp set, is not in a catalog, but if you go to my online store, just look under Holiday Favorites, and you'll find it there. You can still order it. Okay, I need to clean this off, I think. Well, no, I think I did clean that off. Never mind. I'm going to use my little smoke again, but I don't want it to be black. Oh, yeah, it's clean. Get this back up in the screen. So I'm going to take my Balmy Blue ink pad. I just want it to be a faint thing of steam coming off my mug. I'm going to put it near the top middle of my oval. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. Let me get a little closer. So you got that little faint looking steam. Now I'm going to put my mug on here. This is going to be one card that I don't use dimensionals on. I did that in last week. So I had one without because I almost always use dimensionals. Okay, there. Let's see, I think I'm going to make it so the mug, the here on the bottom, each corner edge is on inside the oval. So there we've got that ready. Bring in, oh, I did forget to die cut something again. I knew, I, I even thought of it and I got to talking and forgot. We're going to do another little bow. So I'm going to put this one over here. Grab my scrap. I had the scrap out. I just forgot to die cut it. I thought I was done lugging this big thing up here. Okay, but this will only take a second. Put this on, get my little bow die. Cut it real quick. I have to get some new cutting pads. There we go. So we've got my bow. Get that die back over here. Don't want to lose that. I love that little bow die. Grab my glue. Put a little dot in the center. So I don't think there's any need to have to put a bunch of glue on the thin parts. Just put it there on that center is just fine. Hold that down for a minute. Got to bring in that bling. Now I threw, there we go. Threw them around. I wasn't sure if I <laughs> was going to find them there for a second. Got to have that bling on that bow. There we go. Grab my card base. I think this one's my favorite card. I think it's just because of the colors. Just bright and cheery. I'm going to put this one here. And I am intentionally, oh, I should not have put glue on that. And grab my adhesive remover. Right after I did it, I knew I shouldn't, because this is going to be hanging over a little bit. But I do want a little bit here in the middle, because I don't want it falling off. So that's where I've put this now. I don't know if you see that, but I don't have anything on this side, because that's the side that's going to be hanging over. So I'm going to kind of center, have this DSP over here centered a little bit, and still moved over a little bit, because I didn't want it all the way over the edge. I still wanted to see some of the designer paper over here. And there we go. So that one's my favorite of the bunch. Hope you like that one. So let me grab all the cards real quick and still stay because I'm going to be uh, showing you all the new products that you can purchase now. But if you share this video and comment shared in the comments, that way I know you shared them. You'll get put in a drawing and you will, uh, I will mail these cards out to you if your name is drawn. And um, you've got till next Thursday, which is March 18th, or 19th, I mean, I keep saying the wrong date, March 19th. So if you share this by March 19th, the comment shared, you'll get put in a drawing for these cards. Okay, now you are going to love this new product that you can start getting on April 1st. I just got it. I will be doing a live probably near the end of the month to show you everything. That's called the Ornate Garden Suite. Gorgeous. I was so excited when I got these. It actually came last Saturday. I was a little sick last week. Not real bad. I'm fine now. But um, So it actually sat on my table for a couple days, and then I finally opened it. I'm like, I am not waiting until... Um, Friday to look at it because a lot of times I like to open it up to show you but I couldn't wait till Friday so it's a if you buy the purchase the whole suite 
It's $136.75, but it's a really good deal, but you don't have to do that. They've got everything. You can buy the, a bundle. It's got two bundles in it, but um, you can buy things individually too. But let me show you everything real quick. First off, I'll show you the ribbon. This is a ribbon combo pack. Let me bring this back in because I don't have the prices memorized yet. This one is $7 and it's um, five yards per spool. So you get a total of 10. I'll put that up here. It's um, terracotta tile and old olive. Pretty neat. Now I haven't opened it here. You know what? That's something I haven't done. Let's see if I can get the cellophane off and then you can see it better. It's a little hard to see that. So there's the ribbon. It's pretty. And let's see if I can't get this. Sometimes it's hard to cut that cellophane, so I don't want you to have to sit there and wait for me to do it. So, oh, oh, it worked just fine. So there's the old olive and the terracotta tile together. At first, I thought it was Calypso Coral. That's the terracotta tile. I looked it up. So that's for $7. Then we've got these gilded gems. I should have taken these out of the packaging. Oh, Diane, I just saw you like the last one best, too. Yeah, I really liked how that one turned out. But these are not just, these are faceted. So they actually look like diamonds and they're gold. It's really hard with the lighting here to show off how pretty they are. But they are faceted, so they look kind of like gold diamonds. Really neat. More of that bling. You can't have enough bling. Then I'm going to bring in one of the bundles. This bundle is called the Ornate Thanks Bundle. If you purchase the die separately, they're $34 and the stamp set is $18. But if you purchase them together, you save the 10%, so it'll be $46.75. And, well, first I'll show you the stamp set. You can make little words. There's the thank you, great, so grateful and thanks that you can see for sure. But then you can make little sentences with them. Like this one says, from the bottom of my heart. So you can say, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Or there, I wasn't sure how to, just wanted to say, you made my day for all you, your help from all of us. Why? So you can say, why say thank you or something like you just make different sentences. My friend, seriously, ever so much, I'm for everything. Your kindness is so loved. So here's a card. You're amazing for all you do. So this one is a very versatile set. I really like it a lot. And I love the, um... oh, bye Rhonda, get back to work. <laughs> and then you need to see these dies. Aren't those pretty? These are border dies. I love the, how intricate they are. And wait till you see the next set of dies. These are pretty. If you think these are pretty, wait till you see the next ones. They are even, oh, they're gorgeous. But I love all these little borders. Now, I have not had time to play with this. This must cut uh, the bottom of one of these. And I'm not sure which one yet. So I'll, I'll find that out and do that on a card so I can show you how that works. But there's that die set. Close that up. And I've just got one more bundle to show you. And then the designer series paper. Oh, there is a folder too. Here's the ornate style. Aren't those pretty? If you like to color, you're going to love this stamp set. And I like to color, so it's pretty cool. So I'm going to open this up. Get ready. Ta-da! Aren't those gorgeous? I'd love to see if you like it. Just click the like or the heart, whatever you want. Any emoji you see on there. Isn't that pretty? I just love these. I love these two look exactly the same, just different sizes. The layering stuff is endless on this. I can't wait to start playing with this. This is definitely going to be the first thing I start making stuff with tomorrow. So there's the bundle there. And if you want to know the prices on that, let me look that up real quick. Oh, it's two sheets. And I just lost the other sheet. Ah! Oh, there we go. Uh, $21 for the stamp set, $37 for the die set. And you save the 10% and get it for $52 for the, um, the bundle. Then we've got this cute, oh, I see a bunch of hearts, yay. <laughs> I'm glad you like that. <laughs> Here's the ornate floral. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got all these little flowers and it coordinates with the designer series paper. And it is another 3D one. I haven't, I wish I should have put it through some cardstock. I forgot to do that. But it, well, actually, you know what? I can do that right now. Let me grab, see if I can find a piece of paper here in my stash. Oh yeah, here we go. I forgot I've got the... So where I'm going to see this the first time is with you. Grab my plate here. I need the blue plate. Where did I put that? Oh, there we go. Let's put this in real quick. This will only take a second. But see, even putting that blue on there, you can see it a little better. Isn't that pretty? So run that through. 
do it real quick so I know this video is getting kind of long. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have things to do too. Open this up. Hopefully this will make it better so you can see it. You see those pretty flowers and the leaves are actually lower than the flowers. The flowers pop up more than the, um, the leaves. So that's, that's really pretty. I like that a lot. I'm, I can tell it looks better in person than on the, on the video, but. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the designer series paper. It's really pretty, it's a specialty paper. Now the first two designs are not specialty, but the rest of them will be, and you'll see that here in a minute. But here's this side. And here's the other side. Isn't that pretty? And if anything that you see white on here, if you don't want it to be a white flower, you want to use a different color that'll go along with this, you can just color those in. So you can definitely alter your designer series paper. Then we've got this one, and here's the other side to it. Isn't that pretty? Love those designs. I can see us all getting our daisy punches out again because some of these images. Now, here comes a specialty. You are going to love it. There's this side. That's pretty. But look at this. See all that foil? Isn't that gorgeous? So I think this is old olive and that's gold foil. That's so pretty. The gold and old olive look really pretty together. Now we've got this side and then get ready for the specialty side. Ta-da! Isn't that pretty? Oh, hi, Claudia. You came over here. I hope the YouTube's working okay. But this one you can color in too. I don't know if you've seen the flowering foils paper and I will be doing a video featuring different ways you can use that. Probably I'll put that on YouTube, it won't be alive. But you could color all these in. There's so many different things you can do with that, but that's really pretty. And then we've got this. Oh, and this one is my favorite side when I turn this over. There's the other side. Isn't that gorgeous? That's mint macaron with the gold foil. Hope, yeah, the camera, videos are, it just doesn't do it justice. It's beautiful in person. Then we've got this with this. So like I said, daisies again. So we're going to be getting those daisy punches out. So that is all, everything in the ornate garden. And if you like this bundle, let me kind of put all these out. We've got the bun, and it's uh, sweet, I mean. We've got all of this. Like I said, it's $136.75. If you want this, and you don't want to wait till April even, and to be honest, you don't know if us crazy demonstrators are going to purchase everything before it sells out. That has been known to happen. We love our product. So all of this is $136.75. It, or like I said, you can buy it separately. You don't have to buy it all together. Oh, there's one bundle. I'm forgetting. There we go. I knew that didn't look like everything. And then this die set. But if you would like to get it now, you can join my team. And this is the best time to join. You can add this to your starter kit. And with the starter kit, you can add $125 worth of product for only $99. And with it being celebration, you get even more. You get this, look at all of these designs as a sampling of different papers in the mini catalog. So you would get this six by six sampler for free added to your kit. So you would get almost everything. They're, the only thing you would have to take off maybe like the ribbon and the folder or just not to do the design of series paper, but you would get most of the suite that you'd be able to get in your starter kit for just $99. Very good. Plus get all this. And then when you become a demonstrator, you can turn around and buy the couple of products that you can't get before the end of the month, before the customers can get it. You also get this neat little cutter, really neat little cutter. I love this little thing and it's exclusive to signing up this month. And you get a free stamp set of your choice. You can't beat that. For, for $99, you could get all of this except the designer series paper. You could get all of this and for only $99 and be a demonstrator. And there's no obligation. Um, but if you do like the perks, if you're a demonstrator for a little while and you love the perks, I love them. I love getting my 20% discount and all the other things we get. You just have to do a $300 order by the end of uh, June. So that's you got a little over th uh, three months to get it all together. And after that's just 300 every quarter. And that would be anything you order or your customers order. So it's a really good deal if you'd like to join. And you have any questions, just comment uh, or click the contact me link below in YouTube. Or you can message me when you, if you're watching here on Facebook. So I will see you. Let me switch some cameras here. See you next week. I'm so glad everything worked. That's the first time I've gotten through a live in the last three weeks, I think it's been. So I'm so glad I figured out what was going on. I had a feeling last week it had to be my computer because everything else I've checked and was working. So I will see you again next Friday, Lord willing. 
and I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.